So Matt LaFleur just had a press conference and was sort of asked about David Bautiari, why the Packers are sort of holding him out right now from OTAs. It's now been almost a year and a half since he initially suffered his ACL tear, got surgery in January of 2021. And it's, it's taken a lot longer, I think, than people expected David Bautiari to return to, you know, his full capacity. We thought last year, maybe he would tr- return somewhere in the middle of the season. He tries to come in, plays week 17, sort of seems to, I guess, re-injure himself a little bit, wasn't able to come in and play in the playoffs. And so now the question is, is David Bautiari going to be able to be completely healthy and get back to his former self? So Matt LaFleur discussed this a little bit in his press conference in the past hour, and here is a excerpt from it from Rob Domofsky saying this, Matt LaFleur on David Bautiari, not on the field for OTAs. Matt LaFleur says this, Our plan all along was to hold him from this and get strong and hopefully be ready to go for training camp. So it seems like the Packers are playing it safe with Bautiari, not really putting him fully into OTAs. Um, Matt LaFleur was saying, you know, he doesn't really necessarily need to go through OTAs, which makes sense, but it also does make me wonder, is Bautiari fully healthy? Like, if he had to go play right now, would he be able to? And are the Packers just being safe, or is there more concern and we don't exactly know, you know, if he's going to be fully healthy. I think right now it's it's a little uncertain. Um, I would assume he'll be healthy and ready to go when the season starts just because it's been so long since he did tear his ACL initially. Um, Matt Fleur did say hopefully be ready to go for training camp. So I guess it's not completely certain that Bottiari will be a full participant at training camp, which I sort of thought he would be. But who knows? Maybe he's ready. Maybe he's ready to go and the Packers are sort of keeping him off the field to be safe. But at the same time, um, is there a chance he's not able to come in and, and perform in training camp? Which, I mean, that could be a little concerning considering it's been so long since he did tear his um, ACL. So I'm hoping that he'll be back to full health. You know, hopefully his knee will be fully healed by the time the season comes around because obviously for his sake, I want him to be able to, you know, come out there and play and sort of be his former self, his dominant, you know, self at left tackle as he has been for years and years for this Packers, for this Packers team. Um, so we'll have to wait and see because if he's not, there's definitely going to be a lot more uncertainty on that Packers line. We also still have Elton Jenkins dealing with his ACL injury, and it'll probably he'll probably miss some games this year, and who knows when he will be back. And it's just tough with these ACL tears because, you know, some players come back sooner than others, and some it seems to, you know, take a lot longer to be fully healed. So only time will tell, you know, with Bautiari, and if he's able to fully go when the season starts, we'll only know by then. But I just wanted to come in here, give you guys that little update on Bautiari, what Malafleur had to say. Um, so if you guys haven't subscribed, want to see more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below. But that's all for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.